Okay, so the brake shoes and pistons are all, all the way in the cylinders, and uh, so now we're we're doing some reassembly on the on putting the pinion back in with the pinion gear and the uh, sun disc. And uh, this will be uh, the sun disc that I actually showed you before. But here's the uh, the pinion gear, and it actually will slide in where those splines are. It'll slide all the way in as far as it'll go. And then you've got your brake shoes in this, these locations. And then the sun disc slides on top of this. The sun disc, and this is the one that I've talked about in previous videos, will ride along, along the gear. And uh, the brake plate, which is down here, uh, I don't actually put it on this one, this piece is actually has some tabs where it lines on some pins on the um, the transaxle housing that's on the outside. So actually, you'll actually mount this on the outside, and I'll show you that when we actually raise it and put it on. But these pin locations will help line it up uh, so that it, uh, these brake pads are in the right location, um, adjacent to the opposite uh, brake pads that are on the inside. But the uh, brake disc, kind of when I've described it before, it rides along this uh, this gear, and then when you apply the brakes, the, pist the pistons push in from the other side and sandwich it between the the brake disc that's on the outside here and the uh, brake shoes that are on the inside, and actually stop this um, this gear from spinning, which in turn stops spinning the pinion gear that's running around it that uh, that's turning the axle. Um, so. This is the first part of getting it back together. Uh, get, you need to get these the brake shoes that are on the inside and get them back as far as they can so you have enough room to be able to actually fit your brake plate in there. And I'll slide it in so you can see where it goes. It's got some tabs in it and it's, it's nice and heavy. Um, it's got tabs in it right there that will help line it up so it'll actually sit in at about that location, but where these little guide pins are, that'll actually, that actually holds it up and holds it in place uh, so that it's actually floating inside this, uh, this housing. So it doesn't go on yet, it'll go on once the, uh, once the housing comes in, but uh, we'll show that next.